Orion is NASA's next generation spacecraft. Built with versatility in mind, it can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before, to an asteroid, or even onto Mars. For these missions, Orion has to be one tough spacecraft, withstanding high speeds, searing temperatures, and extreme radiation. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all of its systems. And there's only one way to know if we got it right. Fly it in space. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. For this flight, it's time to head home. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. I would have thought they would have solved these challenges. 46 years ago, when they sent all these Apollo missions through the Van Allen belt to land on the moon in a tin can. And yet, now, 2015, they're spending trillions of dollars to build an Orion to solve the problem of passing through the radiation of the Van Allen belt. What's going on here? Let's just use the tin cans that they did in the Apollo mission. Seem to work okay, or were we lied to? Beginning at an altitude of 1,000 miles and extending an additional 25,000 miles lay lethal bands of radiation called the Van Allen radiation belts. Every space mission in history with humans on board, from both the United States and Soviet Union, from the first in 1961 to the present, has been well below this deadly radiation field. Mercury, Gemini, Soyuz, Skylab, the Space Shuttle, all maintained altitudes well below 1,000 miles. All except Apollo. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No. Now, I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. So this idiot astronaut who was on Apollo 12 that landed on the moon has no idea if he went through the radiation belt and doesn't even know if he went that far out. And this is many years later and he has not a single clue about the Van Allen belt and whether he went through it to go to the moon. If you still believe in uh, the moon landing, uh, just listen to this guy because this just proves it is utter bullshit. I don't know the distance to the Van Allen radiation belt. And if we did, it wasn't a problem. We, if we were going to encounter it, then we would have had to build the spacecraft and the spacesuit to, uh, to, to not give humans a problem. You, you don't just build something and hope it works. You study to see what uh, the threats are, the environment is, and then you say, how thick do I have to make the metal on the spacecraft so that going through this kind of radiation or these kind of meteoroids, it won't get hurt. And so and then we build it that way. The belts are 1,000 miles to 25,000 miles above then, the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on yourselves? Mm -mm, didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt. But we didn't feel it inside, and we didn't get any, you know, added radiation. Lies, lies, that's all I ever get from you.
So there was no strange phenomenon going through the belts of any kind. No, nothing no, happened. There was no, 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 no great unknowns. No science fiction uh, going to the moon. It was all science fact. Although sometimes it seemed like it was science fiction. I saw a CNN report about three years ago. The space shuttle went to about 365 miles, and that was the closest they got to the belts since the moon missions went through them. And they were about. I guess 650 miles away from the belts and they reported that it was more dangerous than previously believed and that when they were 650 miles away inside a shielding better than you guys used they could see the radiation with their eyes closed going through their skulls and the retinas of their closed eyes. Well, I, I don't know about the shuttle. The shuttle doesn't have the capability to go very far, uh, 400 miles. I don't know exactly where the bell element <laughs> Uh, I don't know exactly how far out the radiation Van Allen belt is. It, it didn't seem to bother us very much. Uh, I don't know exactly how far out the radiation Van Allen belt is. Uh, I don't know exactly how far out the radiation Van Allen belt is. Another idiot astronaut who knows nothing about the Van Allen belt. He went on two missions, Apollo 10 and Apollo 17, but not a problem. Apollo 17, he went straight through it, never felt the thing in a tin can in a tin can 45 years ago uh, you still believing in the moon landing uh, get a grip of yourself if you do it, so I, I don't I don't know the results of some of the experiments they've conducted the point is they can't get that far from here and in the, in, they're really in the protective confines of the earth uh, outside the atmosphere certainly tell me lies tell me sweet little lies So after watching that and listening to these two supposedly very intelligent, highly trained astronauts who are representing all the other Apollo astronauts who are nothing but Freemasons, and these two who know nothing about the Van Allen belt, which they claim they went straight through on the way to the moon and came back through on the way to the earth and had no effects of radiation. If you still believe that the Apollo mission that landed on the moon that many times, 46 years ago, they went there with a tin can, well, honestly, maybe you should give NASA a call because they're looking to do experiments in outer space with people that have got zero brains.